Yeah, that's right. Your guy's back with another uh, Subway Slapper today. And it has the... Oh, that Subway smell that ropes you in. When you walk outside Subway and you... you Peppy Le Pew that shit. It's game on from there. Once it's in here, it's pretty hard to stay away from Subway's... Aromatics. It's black hoodie, I'm back cooking these goodies. Look at these views from cooking these foods. Yeah. Yes, hello, you are seeing this correctly. Your guy is coming at you with another Subway Slapper today. So I gotta pop into this, get it ready for the consumption, because my hunger levels are very not chill right now. They are high, high levels. So we unravel a mystery and just enjoy our lives. You, me, and everybody else. Okay. Whoa, they were double wrapping the meat. That's called double bagging it. Sometimes a requirement in these streets. As you can see, once again, my local subway is doing it way too properly. I know we're coming hot off the heels of a double meat Italian BMT. Uh, when I was ordering that one that day, I also saw this cheesy chicken, rotisserie chicken, bacon, kind of ranchy Southwest vibe. And it's been playing on my mind since that video. So had to do it to him. And then I also got the Lay's original baked chips. My voice is extra radio today, depth for whatever reason. And I'm in a fairly chill mood. So we're just gonna keep it easy on this one. Enjoy some food, have some chats. But before we do anything more, we must pour. And today we've elected to go with the Diet Pepsi in the combo, of course. Freshly fizzing, very, very fresh. The other day I opened a bottle of Perrier soda water and legit, it was the most disappointing thing ever. I swear it was just like, it barely even gave me up. Like it was just flat. Actually, I bought two bottles at the same time and they both did that. I was like, that's just so frustrating when you get like, especially flat soda water. Ugh, nasty. So it's the urban cheese bread. Herb and cheese. I actually saw somebody write in the comments what once urban cheese like U R B A N like urban <laughs> you know urban music um, the rotisserie chicken bacon cheese toasted lettuce tomato cucumbers green pepper onion and banana peppers and we're actually going to obviously have to put chips in it like I said these are the baked lays but a sub is always better a little extra crunch and a little extra ranch. Close up. And of course we go. so exactly what I needed right now. Chicken is actually good quality. I can get the bacon. I can get the cheese. 
that sweet onion sauce. Ever since that last video with the sweet onion sauce has just been, I've been thinking about it. It's very, very good. Hitting so hard right now. I've had the hugest crave for Popeyes lately. And it's painstakingly sad. Living in a city that doesn't have Popeyes anymore. Not that it ever did, but I used to live in a city that had Popeyes. And I've been craving everything. Mashed potatoes, biscuits, and honey. The fried chicken. The chicken tenders. The coleslaw. Don't even get me started on the coleslaw. One of my subscribers recently put me onto this channel called Destin Choice. Like, that's his name, Destin Choice, Destin Choice TV. He has two channels, but. He's mainly like a social commentary channel. Like, he covers like a lot of drama stuff. But in like the best way possible. Like, this, I've just been binging him. He's hilarious. Like, he's got no time for the bullshit. He, like, so intelligently and eloquently, like, just shreds people to bits, but, like, in a way where it's, like, not polarizingly offensive. It's just, like, he's covering ridiculous humans that it's just, like, he's just spitting pure game. Like, it's just everything he's saying is facts. He holds his tongue on nothing. Like, he just blurts his opinion. And he doesn't give a fuck if you like it or not. He's just like a whole confident, just mood. But the way he talks about, like, YouTubers in specific, like, how trash and fake, like, so many people are. But he just does it in such a, like, funny way. In a way that you, like... Just have to agree with. His intro kills me too, because he like, his intro like mocks cringy intros. He does this thing where he like rolls his eyes back and he said, he's like, hello, all my beautiful babies. <laughs> Thank you.
it's good watching. He's black, he covers kind of a lot of black, like culture stuff. But he's always talking about like all races too. He shits on white people a lot. He does shit on white people quite a bit, but once again, like I just don't mind because what he says is like he often just usually like a factual thing, like it's true. <laughs> There's stereotypes in all races. And usually they ring pretty true pretty true. I mean that's how it becomes a stereotype. Cause they're usually pretty accurate. That rotisserie style chicken, man. A good sub. Definitely right there with the BMT for me. Definitely like a good alternative option to go to when you're kind of tired of your same sub. Highly recommend. A chill, low energy one today, but it's just how I'm feeling. Hope you enjoyed it. Till the next one. You know what to do. Eat good, live well. Stay true.